Yo, what up? Welcome back to another episode of Film Photography, featuring no coffee or Apple products. Well, I was looking at a roll of Cinestill 800T that I had recently shot, and I noticed that there were little tick boxes to indicate how far you'd like to push your roll in development, and uh, I noticed that it goes all the way up to three stops. So, I thought to myself, are there actually psychopaths out there that push this film three stops? So I did some research, and yes, they are out there. They walk among us. It could be your neighbor, your parents, your dog. I found some pictures online, and uh, they look pretty cool. I won't show them because they turned out better than mine. To summarize super quickly and stupidly, pushing your film is the process of purposefully underexposing your film in camera to then push the brightness in the developing process. This is typically done by leaving the film in the development soup a little bit longer and then drinking that soup if you want to be cool just kidding don't drink it it's poison I don't develop my own film so I just had my lab push it three stops for me so this definitely is not a tutorial more of a photographic experiment I guess so I grabbed my Pentax 6x7 and a fresh roll of Cinestill 800T and gave it a go Three stops underexposed for Cinestill 800T puts us around 6400 ISO, which is crazy talk. Anyway, luckily for me, I'm dating a model. Er, modeler. Her job is to model things in 3D on the computer. And she's pretty good at it. I hit a nearby park with Monica and Baxter, where people like to leave plates of watermelon and pizza on the sidewalk for some reason. Both of which Baxter tried desperately to grab, but don't worry, we didn't let him. Until after we had our own slices of sidewalk pizza. Baxter would probably just blast it out of his ass later on anyway. It felt pretty unholy shooting in the evening shade at 1 1,000th of a second and f11. So I made a quick prayer to the film gods that these photos would turn out somewhat legible and that I'm not just shooting black frames onto a roll of Cinestill for no reason because this stuff ain't cheap and I'm not allowed to sell my body for film anymore after Monica found out. So if you're planning on pushing your film, uh, just be aware that your lab might charge you a little bit extra for the process. Also worth noting, you cannot push individual shots on your roll. It's either the whole roll or not at all. The next day we wanted to hike up to one of our favorite spots. So you know me, I brought my heaviest camera, the Pentax 6x7. After sunset, the light started to fade pretty quick, 
Luckily, I was shooting at 6400 ISO, so literally anything was possible. Like my childhood turtle coming home after running away to join the circus. But I don't really think he ran away to the circus. At one point, I even started using the flash on my Pentax, but in my stupidity, I forgot that the flash sync speed on the Pentax only goes up to 1 30th of a second. The good news is the final image is so dark you cannot see my mistake, except that there's no light on the subject. Yeah, that would have been nice. As you can probably tell from the images, pushing Cinestill this far makes the images bluer than Papa Smurf's butthole, even when white balanced. And the grain definitely makes an appearance as well. One possible positive I can see from pushing Cinestill like this is that the halations, which are those orange glows around the highlights of the image and are a big characteristic of Cinestill, they may not actually really appear since we're underexposing the film to begin with. Anyway, this was a cool experiment. Wait, is cool the right word? Anyway, this was an experiment. I don't really think I'll be pushing Cinestill 800T three stops in the future. It's kind of an expensive film, and generally I kind of just like how it looks out of the box, so I think I'll just stick with box speed. Though now I wonder what it looks like pushed four stops, or like six stops. Is that even possible? It might be too dangerous. Anyway, that's it. Tune in for the next video where we shoot more film and tell more half-assed jokes.